Just a reminder, our telephone number 08600 6284. You can call through with any questions and um, we might not be able to help you tonight, but we will definitely try and help you before the end of the week. I've got a lady called Lungile on the line. Hello, Lungile. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm okay, and you, ma'am? Not too bad. Where are you calling from, Lungile? I'm calling from Joburg. From Joburg? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you've also got wet, horrible weather outside? Yes, we do. Okay, Lungile, I'm going to ask you to just quickly read out your question and then um, you and I will do it together. Can you do that for us quickly? Yes, I can. Okay, let's go. Um, three numbers form a geometric series. Find the numbers if their sum is 13 and their product is 27. Okay, so three numbers form a geometric series. Okay, now what we're going to have to do here is, okay, let's just first do this, Lungile. We'll, we'll just call the numbers for now. We'll call them any old thing. We'll say if we take the first number, X, for instance, plus the second number, Y, plus the third number, Z, you said their sum is 13. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if we add them all together, these numbers give us an answer of 13, and their product, you said, is 27. Okay. So that means if we go X times Y times Z, that's going to give us 27. Now, at this stage, Lingile, we don't have enough information to solve this equation because we've got three unknowns. We've got X, Y, and Z, and if we have three unknowns, we need to have three equations. But there's something here that I haven't used yet, and that is the fact that they say that they, they form a geometric series. All right. Yes. Now, Lungile, can you explain to us quickly what is a geometric series? A uh, geometric series is, um, is, is when um, the terms have a common ratio. So basically... The when the, the terms have a common ratio, you're absolutely right. So basically from the one term to the next, we multiply with a constant factor. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, um, I like the fact that you said common ratio because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave out the X, Y's, and Z's. And let's start, and we'll call our first term A, okay? Yes, ma'am. Now, if the first term is A, Lungile, and the common ratio is R, what will the second term be? Um, A times R. A times R, absolutely. And the third term, what will the third term then be? Um, a times R squared. Okay. And that is exactly all you need to be able to solve this equation because now instead of having the X, Y's and Z's, we've only got A's and R's. Okay. So we, we're going to set up two equations and we've only got two unknowns, A and R, and we'll be able to figure the numbers out. Okay. okay. So I'm going to use the A, the AR and the AR squared. So let's do that and, and we'll substitute that to our original equation. We'll say, okay, A plus AR plus AR squared must give me 13, right? They said yes. so. They said the sum of the numbers is 13. And now they also said that the product of the numbers is 27. So that's going to be A times AR times AR squared. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we're almost home. I'm going to start with the second equation. Nungile, there's three A's here. So this is A cubed R cubed. Do you agree with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to say A R, everything cubed is 27, and 27 is 3 to the power 3. Yes, ma'am. So can you see that I can then take the cube root on either side, and I can say A R is 3? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. So we're going to say A R is 3, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let me see what I'm going to do. I'm going to say R is therefore 3 over A. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now, what do you think I'm going to do with that R is equal to 3 over A, Lungile? Um, then we can substitute it into the, um, the, C, the geometric... Um, well, I can, I can substitute it into the first equation. All right. Okay, so I'm going to use the fact 
that R is 3 divided by A, and I'm going to substitute that into my first equation, okay? Okay, ma'am. Because I want to get rid of one of my unknowns, Lungile, don't I? Because otherwise yes, I can't solve it. Okay, so let's do that quickly. You seem to understand your theory very nicely, so I'm quite impressed. We've got A, we've got AR, we've got AR squared, and we said that that is equal to 13. And what we said now is in the place of R, we're going to put 3 over A. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to say A plus A. And instead of R, I'm putting 3 over A. I'm substituting in, right? Yes, ma'am. Plus A and then 3 over A squared. You good with that? Yes, All right, so everywhere where there was an R, I've just replaced it with 3 over A. Right, let's tidy this up a little bit. We've got A. Those A's cancel out, so we end up with A plus 3. And now the 3 over A squared becomes 9 over A squared, but one of the A's cancel out, so I end up with 9 over A. Are you happy with that? Yes, I am. Okay, now tell me, Lingile, how are we going to go about solving this equation now? The A plus 3 plus 9 over A is equal to 13. Oh, ma'am, we can uh, get rid of the um, A. We can get rid of the A, yes. No, that and fraction. And the 9, uh, the, de the denominator. Yes, because that A is bothering me as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply through with A. So we're going to get A squared plus 3A plus 9 is equal to, and then we mustn't forget to multiply the other side as well. That'll be 13a then, okay? Okay, so let's tidy everything up and bring it to the left-hand side. This is going to give me minus 10a plus 9 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to factorize this. And oops, there, I've completely lost my equation. Oh, there we go. So a factors of 9 that can give me 10 in the middle, that's not too difficult. Nine, uh, nine and one. A minus 1 and A minus 9. So what happens now, Lungile, is we get two possible answers for A, which is fine. It's not a problem. I get A is 1 or A is 9. Yeah. But now I must remember that I still need to substitute back. Um, to find. I need to find R as well. So remember we said that R is 3 over A. Okay? Yeah. Now if I use A to be equal to 1, then R is 3 divided by 1, and then R will be 3, right? Yes, ma'am. Alternatively, if I use A as 9, then R will be 3 over 9, and 3 over 9 actually simplifies down to a third. Yes, ma'am. Now, I'm going to show you that both of these work, because let's, let's check it out. If A, my first term, is 1, then yes, my second term, my common ratio is, is 3, so what will my second term be? 3, 1, 3, and... 1, 3, and then 9. And that does add up to 13, like they said it should. Or, if I start with A equal to 9, and I multiply with a common ratio of a third, then 9 times a third gives me 3, and 3 times a third gives me 1. And if I add those together, it also gives me... 13. And remember the other thing that they said is that the product of these terms must be 27. And 1 times 3 times 9 does give me 27. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Lungile, does that help you a bit there? Yes, it does, ma'am. Okay, so, so what we must remember um, is you, if they say three numbers make up a series, you can, you can quite easily use X, Y, and R. But then you've got to say to yourself, or X, Y, and Z, you've got to say to yourself, they didn't tell me that this is geometric for nothing. Okay. So, so, so with a geometric series, start with A, then the second term will be AR, the third term will be AR squared, and so on. And if it's an arithmetic series, then the first term will be A, the next term will be A plus D, the, second t uh, the third term will be A plus 2D, and so on. All right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Lungile, f fabulous talking to you. I hope you're going to call us again. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>